Welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2 Hard Mode. Folks, we're in the Krem Key. We're almost about halfway through the world. We're on Crockhead Clamber. We're going back into the swamp tonight. This is a pretty fun level. One of my favorites from the game, probably. Alright. Take out the Cutlass. And... Okay, that was actually the wrong Zener to kill. Then we do that. Actually, oh, shoot. Yeah, we need both cones when we go over there. <laughs> Otherwise, it's, it's pretty hard to jump over two bees at a time. That's also not good. Well. <laughs> Dixie just threw her boyfriend into a bee and then killed herself. Just pretty typical stuff for Donkey Kong Country 2. All right. kill you. We're going to chuck this at the top, Zener. Like so. There we go. Oh! Oh, we, we were able to do it! I mean, we lost Dixie, which is bad, but... There's our hero coin. <laughs> you either die a hero, or live long enough to be the villain. And that's exactly what happened to Diddy Kong. Now we can actually start the level for realsies. We're just going through this swamp. Pretty normal stuff. Thankfully there are all these cattails here for us to grab onto. Oh yes, it saves how many coins we have. That's something that doesn't happen in the SNES version. If you save and quit, you go back to zero coins. Thank you, Mr. Crockhead. Team throw for that bonus barrel. Da -da -da -da. Destroy them all! Kill every last one of them! Easy. <laughs> Here's where the gimmick comes in. Kill every last one of them! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yes, good shot. Yeah, hit the barrels and the crockheads pop up, because apparently that sends like a remote signal to their brains to be like, Hey, guys, free burger day. Pop up. Oh, sweet, free burger day. Wait a minute. I really like this stage. It's busy, but it's a lot of fun. Is there anything at the end here? No, that's just my imagination. Uh, hey, hey there, camera. Um, oh, weird. <laughs> if I'm just standing this way, I can see what the prize is. Otherwise, I can't. I want that G, man. Talk on it, that stupid B is lined up just in the wrong place. Ah, well. <laughs> no G for me. That's my favorite Dr. Seuss book, by the way. <laughs> G is for greed. Well, that's fair. Um, do we have enough Krem coins for call this kiosk? We don't. We are missing one. You have a beehive in your house's walls? Oh, that sucks, Mobius. That really sucks. Yeah, I'm not a fan of bees either. Also, welcome, Nintendo Addict. Alright, we'll have to do Rattle Battle before we can go to the Lost World. Oh, hey! Why is the sky and the water green? I don't think I want to know. We are going to find the Krem coin. Honeybees are pretty cool. They're very useful. I guess, as far as steaming insects go, bees aren't that bad. Wasps and hornets and yellow jackets are a lot worse. Bumblebees are easy going, but if they if they're angry, then God help you. Anyhow, this is one of those this is one of the levels in the game where you play as an animal buddy for like the entire thing. So we're we we have become Rattley the snake. We're not just riding him; we have become him. And this is where the GBA version 
controls for Rattly are really nice. Because Rattly is kind of a pain in the butt to use in the SNES version. Well, that went well. <laughs> wasps can go to Hades. Kind of, though. Wasps, do wasps do anything for the ecosystem, or are they literally just there to annoy us? Like, they don't make honey. I don't think they pollinate flowers. So, like... What do they do? <laughs> also, this, mu this level has amazing music. I know, I, that's basically every single level in Donkey Kong Country 2, but... This is the only level that this song plays on, so it's a bit of a tragedy. Wait a second. Oh, wait. That's not the part of the ship where you can f go into. I thought that's where you get the hero coin. It's not. This song is also named uh, differently. In the SNES version, this is called the Snaky Chanty, and in this, it's the Snaky Shanty. Like, Sea Shanty. Definitely prefer Shanty, because we are on a pirate ship, after all. <laughs> I like how those Kremlings have, like, pogo stick pe peg legs. So creative. There we go. Bonus barrel. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. Bonus barrel. Easy peasy, then squeezy. Wait a second. <laughs> What's on this side? Oh, nothing. K.O. Oh, this is this is where we go. Kind of a crazy secret, right? Ouch! You jerk. Wasps pollinate fig plants. I guess that's kind of cool. <laughs> I've been shot. Help! And no checkpoint barrel, of course. Okay, seriously, I get why the water is green, because we are in a swamp, but why, why is the, uh, why is the sky green? Is Maleficent brooding? Seems a little strange. What's up, Jay? Welcome, welcome. We're on best snake level. The Battle of the Rattle. Oh no! <laughs> I did not do that well. I swear I'm good at this game, guys. Man, Rattle Battle is causing me a little more trouble than I was thinking. It's not supposed to get hard until the next level. I think we have every all of the bonus barrels, though, on this level now. Maybe we're missing one. Ouch. Kremlin really wanted to hug me. Look, man, I get it. <laughs> but, come on. K.O. Alright, camera, let's not be stupid. There we go. That's what I was trying to do last time. Oh, there's our bonus barrel. Collect the stars! All of them? All 50 of them? Aw, oh, man, there's that one Dane star who thinks he's better than everybody else! <laughs> so what I'm getting is... Wasps help figs, 
And then they the only other purpose they serve is to be eaten by other things. That's fair. <laughs> this part of the level can be a little tricky. Okay, good. We got the picture. <laughs> K-O-N-G- Oh, the, yeah, that's right, this part. No! I missed the flare roll! <laughs> Rats. <laughs> I want to get more DK64 sound effects as sound alerts, but it's really hard to find the isolated sound clips. There's like one YouTube video where it's like every single sound effect in the game in one video, but I'm like, how do I find individual sound effects if there's like over a thousand of them? Alright. Uh-oh. Howdy, Dusk. Wink! You're in time to see me suck being a snake. <laughs> Rattly... Rattly is probably the derpiest looking snake I've ever seen. And it's kind of funny. Ouch! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, oh. No! I thought I jumped on his butt! <laughs> sometimes you jump on his butt and sometimes his butt jumps on you. Honestly, I think I'm failing so much because I'm I'm taking it too fast. Maybe I should slow down a little bit. And then Artie proceeds to go fast. Yeah. If if a bee if a bee's butt tries to jump on you, it's not good. My 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 kind of life strategy for bees is let them do their thing and then don't bother them and they probably won't bother you. Probably the best. No, are you serious? <laughs> I am really sucking today. I think I have performance anxiety. I need everybody to look the other way while I beat the level. <laughs> okay, rattle battle is... This is where the game's actually starting to put the hard in hard mode. This just means we get to hear the snaky shanty more. No. Oh no, the O! Ha <laughs> ha! Still got it. Thankfully, Rattly can air jump. <laughs> I just. Why am I so bad at timing that barrel jump? Also, does K. Roll know that there are holes in his ship? Alright. This time, let's suck less. Yay, we sucked less! Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Way to go, Dixie. We beat the Battle of the Rattle. Excellent. Alright. Now we actually have enough stuff to go to the next one. <laughs> Scurvy chimps ahoy! Come on, ya yellow bellies! Try and cross Columbus Bridge without paying! I dare ye! I'll pay. Tis me eight mates. The barrel is all yours. Solid gold barrels. 
Excellent. Off to the back of the Lost World to take on Black Ice Battle, which is easier in the GBA version, because the camera doesn't suck. In the SNES... Okay, well, that was stupid. In the SNES version, like, the camera is purposefully positioned at, like, the top of the screen, so you cannot see where you're following. Where you're following. They, they wised up in this version. Do, 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 do. I mean, it's still not amazing, but it's a lot better now. Even with a narrower screen. Hmm. Hey, but there were uh, there were one ups over there. There was candy over there. They altered the covers for the Lost World levels in the GBA. That's definitely possible. Yeah, it has a green background. I think to symbolize that you entered from the Creme Quay or something. I got Creme Key. I always want to say Creme Quay because that's phonetically how it looks like it should be uh, pronounced. Yeah, it was, It was. I believe in the SNES version, it's a deep blue. Ouch. Stupid bees. Oh, what? <laughs> Should have flown over. There's probably only a single one-up balloon over there. I almost rolled directly into the bee. That would have been amazing. Oh, yoink! Dixie Calm is pretty good for this level. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. I'm going over this time. Watch out for the black clobbers, folks. They literally can steal your lives. Follow the bananas? No, 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 no. Wait, hang on. We, we might still be able to salvage this. Yoink! Ha ha! 200 IQ play. Oh, and here we go. Picture of the clamp on. Oh no, I didn't want to kill both of them with a the barrel. Jeek. Let's have Diddy go for this. Um, why are those guys following me? I did not invite them to my birthday party. Find the Krem coin! I will do my best. I believe this is a bonus barrel that we want uh, Dixie Calm for. Definitely. Dixie Calm makes that a lot easier. Actually, Dixie Calm makes a lot of this level a lot easier. Thank you, Dixie, but Diddy Cone wants to get the reward. Yeah, there are a lot of subtle differences for the GBA version. But the core gameplay and the levels are pretty much identical, which is grit which is very good. <laughs> a lot of the changes were just very minor. Alright. <laughs> Black Ice Battle was easier than Rattle Battle, somehow. Now we're off to where, in my opinion, the, the, uh, the whole game starts getting a little bit on the tough side. We're off to Slime Climb for the last main sail level. Oh, you've never seen this version before. I guess that makes sense, then, why you would pick up on the differences really easily. A lot of it is just, like, subtle differences, like... The slightly different sound card giving a slightly different sound to some of the songs. Or just more saturated graphics.
Oh wait, shoot. No! Oh, I almost hit the bonus barrel without... <laughs> I almost didn't even need the invincibility barrel. That's fantastic. Let's collect all the stars. Oh yeah, that's right, Jay. You mentioned you were streaming the SNES version. That's really cool. Three Krem coins. So is there... I remember the gold feathers in a kind of tricky place on this level. Oh, no. Move it, Snapjaw. I'm not on the breakfast menu today. It <laughs> Sometimes it just don't let you jump off the ropes. <laughs> Snapjaw's like, oh, I must follow you everywhere you go. Yum. I remember where the DK coin is, I just don't remember where the feather is. Dane Dixie, you are fast at climbing upwards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> I sacrificed my girlfriend just so I could spell calm. Oh no! <laughs> I feel like Captain Hook being pursued by the crocodile, except the crocodile in this case. Oh, stupid, stupid cleaner! <laughs> Fall all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> That's good. Now, see, if this level was in Donkey Kong Country Free, it would be an auto scroller. And I am very grateful it is not. <laughs> Because auto scrollers are the worst. Dog on it. I love the music on this level. It's got like a. Maybe Celtic is not the right word. It's got that nautical feel to it, though. All those, like, f I think they're flutes in the background, or... Whatever instrument is being played on this level, it's fantastic. Doggone it! I can't keep my cones alive. I should just stop trying to spell calm. I've lost far more lives trying to get an extra life than I would if I had just had it. Alright. Let's not embarrass ourselves this time. <sighs> I must say, the GBA's narrow screen can make these vertical levels a huge pain in the butt, because it's hard to see the enemies coming up until it's too late. <laughs> I like how when they're in the water, they go in slow motion, just like you would in real life. That's, that's amazing. Boom. Literally boom. I think you can climb a bit faster. Certainly in the GBA version, you climb on... You can, uh, go on horizontal ropes a lot faster. That's very... that's It's very apparent on the DKC free level, Ropey Rumpus. It's so much easier in the GBA version. Oh, there's the feather. No, dude. Alright, I actually... Did we get all the bonus barrels on that level? Not sure. <laughs> Diddy literally threw his girlfriend off the cliff just so he could spell calm. Be like, ha I, I did great! I don't know about you, Dixie! 
Yep, okay, we got all the coins. Oh boy, it's time for Quiz Show! Come on, let's have a round of applause for them! Funky's fun. Funky seems like a call that would have a lot of fun. What can your snake buddy do that is special? He jumps very high. Well done, let's have another. What is the name of the level with the anglerfish that lights your way forward? Torch Tragedy, it's Glimmer's Galleon. You clever little monkey, now listen carefully. What is the name of the big muscle-bound crocodile who guards the toll bridge? Clubba. You've been great contestants! Alright, the little monkey is a winner! Sw swampy Swag. How many lives do you start the game with? Five. I wish there was a game you start with 17 lives. That's correct! Here's the next one. What button do you press to team up? You press the R button. That's what I'm looking for! Next one, please! What is your rhino buddy's name? Rambi. Although Bam Bam is a great name. Everyone's a winner here! Torch Tragedy sounds like a level of lots of difficult fiery jumps, like Oil Drum Alley. <laughs> yep, it does. You're free out of free! You're pretty good at this. Primate Prize. I want that. What is the name of this area of the island? <laughs> Creme Key. <laughs> okay, try this one. What is your parrot buddy's name? Squawks. Okay, try this one. How many airplanes came from the roof in Kong College? Two, I believe? If you fancy a game, you know my name. How would anyone know that? Alright, the little monkey's a winner. I'll have even better prizes next time. You're gonna have the same prizes next time. Anyhow... Time for one of my least favorite levels in the whole game, Bramble Blast. I if it if there's a level that's covered in brambles, I don't like it. Also, a very unpopular opinion, I don't like this music. I think this is one of the weaker tracks in the game. So welcome to the Barrel Canyon maze. Oh wait, ooh, that's where we need to go. Actually, no, it's not. The bonus barrels are a little easier to find in the GBA version, because they don't look exactly like the barrel cannons. <laughs> because they've got that big B on them. There we go. There's refs. <laughs> That's where that bonus barrel is. Find the creme coin. I also like, in the GBA version, you can fire out of the barrel cannons a bit faster. Not here. This is kind of the speed of the SNES barrel cannons. Still a little faster. But you can, like, rapid fire launch out of the barrel cannons in this. I'm really going to miss the halfway point on this level, by the way. <laughs> Ouch. Alright. Where's the feather? I think the feather's in this area somewhere.
Ah, oh, there it is. I remember the feather was in the maze somewhere. Dog on it. <laughs> We've come full circle. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Lower right, apparently. <sighs> there we go. No! <laughs> no, I have to do that old Dane level again. <laughs> I do not like brambles. Alright, well... I like the idea of the bramble levels, I just don't like playing them. <laughs> like, the, bram the bramble level scheme is used more than I think any other level scheme. And... none of them are fun to play. I think there are... There are 3.3 Bramble levels in the game. And all of them are bad. At least in my personal opinion. Correct. The main gimmick of the level is that basically all of the terrain will kill you if you touch it. The stupid duper bee! <laughs> I have officially made the word "dupid" a word. For when stupid is not enough. I apologize that I'm not talking that much, but the barrel cannon levels actually require me to concentrate. Dog on it. <laughs> yeah, Bramble Blast is probably my least favorite of the Bramble levels. It's just... I don't mind the barrel cannon gimmick at all. But the whole barrel cannon maze doesn't do it for me. I am really not doing... <laughs> Dixie's like, you keep killing me on purpose. <laughs> it's only half true, Dixie. I enjoy Diddy Cone's victory dance better than yours, but I'm still trying to keep you both alive. Launch, launch! No! My N! No! Ah! <laughs> Diddy and Dixie are not having a very fun time right now. Again, the reason I'm dying so much is because I'm like, gotta go fast! <laughs> Just like Sonic said. Gotta go fast. It's like, Artie, if you just went a little slower, you'd probably be acing this level. Like, no, I must one-cycle the barrel cannon segments.
<laughs> Correct. I, I will not apologize unless I've done something wrong. That part of the level is fun, where you can, like, go for the barrel cannons really quickly. I actually really like barrel cannons as a gimmick. I fuck every freaking stinking time! <laughs> My favorite level in the first Donkey Kong Country, and possibly my favorite level in the trilogy, is Treetop Town from the first one. Because of how fast you can go for the barrel cannon segments. <laughs> it's genuinely a lot of fun. Look, Ma, I can sequence break. There we go. There we go! Hi, Squawks. Boy, am I happy to see you. Pretty much every Bramble level... Actually, no. Literally every Bramble level has you use Squawks. Because he's, like, the only thing that can actually, like... No! Squaw Squawks! No! Why? I was so close to being done with this. Squawks touches the thorns and Dixie Calm takes damage. Try to figure that out. I just want to be done with this level. Also, wow, the K and the O are really close together for some reason. Oh, hey! Sequence break! Well, sequence break. Optimal strat. Oh man, if it had let me move to the left, that would have been great. Alright, can we please... ...not do that? I thought I... No! No! I did it again! I freaking did it again! No! That's not where it looked like it was gonna point. I... I hate this level. I love most of the levels in Donkey Kong Country 2. Not this one. <laughs> this is the stain on the Krem Key. Actually, Krem Key has a lot of stains. It is a swamp, after all. No, oh, I... The, the rotating barrel cannons, the ones that, like, actually can go in, like, the eight different places, those are the worst. Oh, I learned a shortcut there. I will spell calm. I will do it. I will. I don't know why I have such a hard time with these rotating barrel cannons. Again, squawks. Don't fail me this time. Oh, 
Red Zeners don't like him. No! <gasps> As I said, Red Zeners don't like him. Find the Krem coin. I will do my best. Red Zeners are literally invincible in this game. Oh good, an extra life. It's not like I just lost 20 of them. I told you I would spell calm! Oh my gosh, may we never have to do Bramble Blast again. We should replace that level with a good one. Alright, time for the boss. Jules contest. He's in the middle of the swamp. Am I the only one who kind of wishes that Clubba was a bonus boss? Like, after you get all of the Lost World levels, you could fight Clubba? This guy's a fun boss. Once you know which of his jumps makes shockwaves and which ones don't, he's much more manageable. Also to make sure to not hit him with the TNT barrel until after he has completely landed. Don't jump on the frog, man! Oh no, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> I forgot to jump. He jumped on the frog! He just killed the frog! That's the real tragedy. Clubba's one of those bo- or Clubba. Cudgel is one of those bosses that's the right difficulty. Goomba stomped. Yep. St he keeps jumping on the poor frog! Why is he doing that? What did Winky ever do to you? Boom! Keep it up, dude, and you're gonna break the wooden platform, and then we're all going in the drink. <laughs> I love his sound effect. There's no frog in the SNES version? Oh, inferior version. Shockwave's an interesting effect, except... It's not like when the shockwave reaches you, that's when you take damage. It's like, as soon as he hits the ground, that's when you take damage. Oomph! I love how he just waits for us to blow him up. He's, he's a fast boy now. That's a fun fight. I like that one. This all seems too easy. I hope you aren't cheating. I cheated to make it harder. <laughs> you have to keep moving. DK's dependent on you. Off you go to Crazy Kremland. My favorite world of the game. Such a creative world. Crazy Kremland. The Kremlin amusement park that's infested with bees. <laughs> Built on a swamp. It's amazing. First off, Hornet Hole. Also, how the heck did they make the GBA version sound of the music sound like this? It literally sounds like it's sticky. I don't know how they make instruments sound sticky, but they did. Anyhow, double bonus rooms off the, the bat. Find the Krem coin. With pleasure. I like the look of these beehive levels. I actually really like the beehive levels. At least in this world. <laughs> exactly! The 
that's... Not the bonus room I wanted to go into. Find the Krem coin. I just wanted to hug the bee. Bees are quite fuzzy. Second bonus room. Find the Krem coin. For realsies this time. I like that bonus room. Very fun. I actually kind of like the honey gimmick in this uh, level. It can take some getting used to, but it, it's pretty good. Although, admittedly, it can be a bit annoying when you land on it. Oh my gosh! If you land on one of those beetles when you're paired up, they just flat out die. They don't even flip over. I never knew that. That's really cool, though. I almost died there. Give me my prize. We need to keep both cones alive. Because that pair up ability is going to be needed. There we go. Yeah, the honey animations are great. I love the background on this level. Uh-oh. Why are there hedgehogs in the beehive, by the way? It's okay, we got our favorite squitter... <laughs> favorite spider buddy, Squitter. Squitter's one of those partners that, like, on my first playthrough, hated him. Now, he's a pretty cool party member, actually. Party member, like it's an RPG. He's a pretty cool animal, buddy. He has a very niche use. But I kind of like that. He feels a, He has a use that the other animal buddies don't really fulfill. Oh yeah, until Web Woods. But that's not Squitter's fault. That's the developer's fault for making Squitter overstay his welcome. Especially once you learn how to jump and make web platforms and land on them at the same time, he becomes a lot more useful. Find the Krem coin! Uh-oh. 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 I'm not abandoning Squitter. He's got me this far. <laughs> oh, the circling V at the end. I think I know that V. No! My buddy! Oh, I went backwards. Whoops. Oh, but I need the N. Sorry, Squ- I love how I'm like, I'm not abandoning Squitter! Oh, guess I'm abandoning Squitter now, because I literally have to. Oh no! No, no, no! But I need... I need the hook! Actually, I don't think that we... No! That, that stupid hedgehog turned around earlier than I expected. Guess we're doing the whole level again! Once you know how to properly, like, maneuver up the honey, it's this is actually a pretty darn fun level. Uh-oh. No! No, no, no! Oh! Got just enough momentum from that jump. Excellent. No, no, no! No! My buddy! No, my buddy! No, my buddy! Okay, I gotta time this just right. Ha-ha! 
No squitter left behind! <laughs> no squitter left behind. Do 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 wait 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 what? <laughs> it dropped my button press. <laughs> it's okay, I probably wasn't going to make it to the end of the level anyways. Yeah, this song sounds pretty different from in the GBA version. The SNES version gives it a much darker feel. This one makes it feel... <laughs> it, it literally is... Ba this music is basically honey in musical form, which I don't know how they do it. Seriously, if I had to, like, describe stickiness with a sound effect, it would be this. So, David Wise, you really nailed the, the GBA music port. No! Oh, thank goodness, Squitter's still alive. Ha <laughs> ha! Smell you later, losers! No squitter allowed, but he gave his life to me, quite literally. Oh no, I didn't get the O! <laughs> well, I spelled kin, so that works. Do, 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 do. If we go to the Cone College, I want to check. There are two globes on the shelf. Remember to save your game as often as possible. Alright, Grandma. Try to make it to your next class now. Just had to check that for the, the questions that may or may not be coming up. Oh yes! Now we get to the minecart levels! Time target terror. Love these levels. Wish it still took place at night like it does in the SNES version, though. I actually really like the minecart levels in the DK Country series. Oh no! We missed something, so we had to do it had to be done. There we go. Fever's hidden up there. What the? Why did you stop? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to automatically jump forwards. I also like on the big drops how D Diddy and Dixie hold up their hands in the air. <laughs> I like the whole amusement park aesthetic of Crazy Kremland. It's really cool. Okay, there we go. Oh, hey, dude. Excuse me, they don't allow you to carry barrels on the ride. How did you get that? That's like the easiest bonus barrel to reach in the whole game. Destroy them all! Oh yeah, and for some reason, even the amusement park levels often have the Bramble theme in their bonus barrels. Like, why? I went to Crazy Kremlin to get away from the Bramble levels. <laughs> Really? Of course there was a bee right up there. No! T 
<laughs> Diddy's like, stop the ride! Gotta get off! <laughs> Don't be such a wuss, Diddy. It's only a 10,000 foot drop. Oh, come on. My goal is to make it to World 5 this stream. That may actually not happen. Actually, if I keep, if I keep up at the pace I'm going, it's definitely not going to happen today. <laughs> Alright. Destroy them all! There we go. Now we can continue the roller coaster ride. These skull cars are very fitting, considering the ride is literally trying to kill you. Do 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 do. Thanks for leading me to the bonus barrel, man. Find the Krem coin. With pleasure. I like how they toned down the speed on the minecarts in the GBA versions. Because they got they went way too fast in the SNES versions. <laughs> Especially in Donkey Kong Country 3. Looking at you, tear away toboggan. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that level was a lot easier than the levels <laughs> before this. I still want to get to 99 lives at some point in this game. Alright, now it's time for the weak link level in the world. It's another Bramble level, Bramble Scramble. Why there are Brambles going for the amusement park, I don't know. You'd think it would pop the bouncy castle. Also, for some reason, in the SNES version, this takes place at night, and they made it take place in day for the GBA version. Not really sure why. I liked the night aesthetic. This one has significantly fewer barrel cannons, and more climbing. And much more squawks. Collect all the stars! Come on. I swear I would like squawks a lot more in this game if there just were fewer bramble levels. Alright. Thank goodness we have ample time for that one. Alright, off to first Squawks' main flight. One nice thing about this is, for some reason, if D if you pick up Squawks as an animal buddy, but you're still DK or Diddy and Dixie, you can let him just graze the bottom of the brambles like that, provided you don't run into him like that. But if you if you literally turn into Squawks, you cannot do this. 
I think the cone's body... I think when you pick up Squawks, it's Squawks' body that turns into the cone's hitbox. <laughs> and But because the cone's hitbox is kind of still there, it can, like, push Squawks upwards when you run into the bottom. It's very weird. Gotta get me those Koopa coins! Don't ask me why you're allowed to walk through that bramble, but not any of the others. Same with that one. Dixie Cone be able to complete the level all by herself? Eh, probably nah. <laughs> no one asked you, Big Bird. I'm gonna take this a little bit slower than I have the last few levels. <laughs> That's a lot of enemies. It's the Room of Death. No! Duck gun! Do not like this level. I almost ran right into the brambles. So it seems Dixie can shimmy across horizontal ropes faster than Diddy, but Diddy can climb vertical ropes faster than Dixie. I like how there are just very subtle differences between Diddy and Dixie, but they're both still fun to play. Contrasting Donkey Kong from the first one. Donkey Kong in the first GBA game is... Well, Donkey Kong in the first Donkey Kong Country is not that fun to play as. <laughs> it's just a bit clunky. I mean, he's supposed to be Donkey Kong, not Clunky Kong. Oh. <laughs> I almost forgot about the little neckies. Alright, we've come full circle. There are too many red zeners in here. It's okay, I'm on it. <laughs> Speedrunners have an adage, if you're donkey, you're dead. Pretty much, if you're if you're playing like a speedrun and trying to go for like the world record, oh yeah. Losing Diddy Cone means you've already lost the run. <laughs> It's like, but Donkey Kong can jump on Clump's heads without, uh, and kill them, whereas Diddy Kong can't. It's like, yeah, but Donkey Kong's also slow and bad at platforming in a platforming game. Did I get all the bonus barrels? I think I missed one. I only remember going to one of them. Uh huh. No, I think I did actually. Oh, that level only has one bonus barrel. Okay, I'm not crazy. 
Oh boy, it's time for the first Funky's Flights mission that actually doesn't suck. <laughs> Pick it and kick it, Collins! You're A-OK! -okay. Come on, dudes, I need your help! Colnapped! Xeners have attacked Colin Island and kidnapped members of the Colin family! Go and rescue them! To pick up a passenger, land beside them, and they will jump right in! Once they're on board, take it back to the helipad! You must rescue six hostages to complete this mission. What about the others? Not nah, just six! We can leave the others to die! She's all gassed up and ready to go! You got five minutes flying time! How did the how did the Collins get kidnapped by the bees? So now we have to go here and... Oh yeah, they are, they do appear on the radar. I forgot about that. Or at least the bees do. Where are those dang cones? I, I hear you, I can't see you though. And the radar ain't helping. Shut up, I'm trying to find you! Where are they? Oh, there's... Hey, it's Tiny Cone. That is not the sound Tiny Cone makes. <laughs> Real smooth landing. Oh, there's a part of the level up here as well. So we've already let one of the hostages die. Where are you? Stop crying... Oh! They cry for help when they're being carried away by Xeners. That's why I couldn't find them. The Xeners are just trying to kamikaze into me. Ray! Ouch. Ouch. Hey, Tiny. I love it. So apparently, Tiny Kong got cloned a bunch. But then. Oh, that's why the Xeners are able to kidnap her. It's because she's so small. Alright, we just need three more. I ran into a wrench and it repaired me. Oh, I just totally shot Tiny Kong. I love how there's just a crowd watching me, and then, like, when as I'm doing the mission, they're like, Yay! It's like, you guys could be helping out, too. You you also just let Tiny Cone die. Oh, there's Tiny. There's Tiny. Tiny, just get in the freaking helicopter. Let's get out of here. Well, we let one of them die, but that's okay. We got more. We got backup clones. Well done! Take this hero coin as a small reward. We're not even halfway there with, re with regards to the hero coins, although a lot of them come from the photo album. So, all right. Oh, it's time for possibly my favorite level in the whole game: Rickety Race. This is a fun one. Unless you're trying to get the DK coin, then it's absolute garbage. But actually, this is a case of a level that's actually going to be easier in hard mode. Because the checkpoint really becomes annoying on this level. Destroy them all. Already failed. Oh wait, I guess, you I, guess I did not have to destroy them all. I missed one. Interesting. Alright. So this level is a roller coaster minecart ride that's also a race. Our goal is to kill all of these Kremlings, especially the one in first place. If we kill the one in first place, then the game rewards us for being a dirty, rotten cheater who's trying to take out the competition and will give us a hero coin. This is a level where the, uh, the checkpoint becomes really, really detrimental to this level because if you respawn at the checkpoint, it puts you back in last place and there's no way to get the hero coin. And you just have to complete the whole level and then go back to the beginning. Also, this level can be very, very annoying when it comes to killing these guys. Yeah, because if you bump into the back of them, uh, you in trouble. Really unique idea for a level, though. Oh no, I only spelled COG. Oh no, I... 
That guy had the end. I got the G before the end on this level. Oh no, because I hit the guy in the back. That actually hurt a lot. We have to do that again. Try to get the uh, hero coin. If you're not trying to get the hero coin, though, that level is freaking amazing. But alas, I gotta prove that I'm better than Mario, so... <laughs> Mario's like, I got the hero coin in the rickety race! <laughs> Part of the key to catching up is to jump up the uh, uphill parts so you don't slow down. You can also jump down the downhill parts as well if you want. No! I, I tried so hard to land on him. I love how when Diddy, when you have both columns and Diddy gets in the cart, it looks like he has a ponytail. It's that kind of juvenile humor that I laugh at. I also love the sound effect that these guys make when you kill them. Oh no, that was real bad. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> Do not jump if you're starting to go down a hill. Jump at the top. I like how the game is really keeping with the nautical theme of the game, even in the amusement park. <laughs> All of these Kremlins have pirate hats. Yeah, I fit in the SNES version. All I think all of the Kremlins have just the generic deep voiced "oh," which does not fit some of the Kremlins. <laughs> It fits the big fat guys, but not like any, not these shrimpy guys. Aha! Beat him up again. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Sometimes you have to hope you can land on one of their heads while, and that can push you across a gap. There he is. Got it. Alright, that was not as hard as I remember. To get the coin. Alright, off to the swag. Welcome back! You've joined us as the cons are about to choose their game. No help from the audience, please. Wrinkly's winner. Let's do it. What is the name of this area of the island? Crazy Crema, Creepy Crockland, Looney Goonland. Those are both great. That's correct! Here's the next one. What color is your parrot, buddy? He is red, green, and yellow. Okay, try this one. Name the two companies that produced this game. <laughs> Rare to of Crocodile Games and Rave. Everyone's a winner here, provided you win. Free out of free. You're pretty good at this. Crazy Quiz, spelled definitely correctly. What is the name of the first hive level of this area of the island? Hornet Hole. The Horrible Hive is a great name, too. Yes! Let's play on! What is the name of the old lady who runs Colin College? Wrinkly. Good answer! Here we go again! Which of these items cannot be found at Columbus Kiosk? He don't have a picture of K. Rule. You've been doing... You've been great, contestants! If he did have a picture of K. Rule, that'd be kind of weird. All right, folks! All correct, folks! What didn't they do well? Baboon Booty. Um... Not what I would go for, but alright. What is your snake buddy's name? Rattly. Good answer! Here we go again! What color vest does the old man Cranky Cone wear? It's green. Well done! Let's have another! Which of these enemies have you not seen during this area of the island? We have not seen the Cat O' Nine Tails. I hope we'll be see you back next week! Free out of free! You're pretty good at this. Until the next time, here on Swanky's Bonus Bonanza! All right, time for Mud Hole Marsh. This is a tough level. Also, 
It introduces the cat enemies. Who suck, because it's very, it's completely random if they gr hit you, if they're going to grab you, or if they're going to just kill you. There's no rhyme or reason to it. They also make cat noises. They're also some of the weirdest looking enemies in the whole game. I'M INVINCIBLE! Jumps in the swamp, never to be seen again. Man, that first trio of dragonflies, if you're trying to get that coin, very difficult. Thank goodness they ain't the same Donkey Kong Country 1 where you actually need to spell comb to get 100%. That's a nice looking swamp background, by the way. This is the part of the <laughs> this is the swamp that the birds hang out in. Oh my gosh, I never realized that the Neckies have little bird bandanas. Or little pirate bandanas. Meow. <laughs> Collect the stars. Oh no. I need freaking Dixie Comb for this, don't I? Rain Haze, thank you for the follow. I sure as cuss do need Dixie Comb for that. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I never noticed the Neckies have little pirate bandanas on their heads. Wait, I just picked up the K by jumping into it? Really? Interesting. Thank goodness these floating hooks are just lying out. Very convenient. <laughs> I love how when I broke open that, it was a it was a barrel, but then it turned into a crate. No! I need to, I need both comms! <laughs> Yeah, I really like the pirate theme in this game. The nautical theme. Okay, unless unless this level takes a really long time, I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish World uh, Crazy Kremlin in this stream. Even if we have to go a little over time. You guys can get some extra content. I was wondering when they were gonna meow. They usually do when they start their spinning. Aha! That was cool. Alright, there we go. There's that creme coin we needed. Oh, wait a second. There's also the Lost World level. Ooh. Uh, maybe we aren't finishing this world in this video, or in this stream. We'll see. Meh. Nah. Nah. Oh. Give me that camera. Huh? <laughs> Give me that. Oh, also, I hope I can get the hero coin on this level. It's a tough one to get. Also, did I get the feather yet? It may have been one of those many chests that I skipped. No, it's not. There it is. Nah. 
Thanks for making the barrel platforms for me, bro. No! That DK coin is kind of evil to get. I don't like the levels where the DK coin is one of the prizes at the end. But this one's especially annoying. No! No! What's up, Proxima? <laughs> doing? Doing? Alright, we're gonna use Dixie Cone and her hair power to get us through this. <laughs> No, no, no! <laughs> Darn it! Stupid neckies. They're all neck. Make me say all oh, heck. Honestly, the fact that the Cat O' Nine Tails is random with. Yeah. Sometimes that happens and sometimes they just kill you. And sometimes they do both. But the fact that it's random whether they'll kill you if they touch you or will throw you makes them actually a little more terrifying. I don't know why. <laughs> Gives you that false sense of hope. Um, did he? <sighs> I got no one to blame but myself there. <laughs> held, if you hold B next to a treasure chest, Diddy wants it. Diddy's out for the glory. Okay, that was a little too close for comfort. I should not get that close again. Darn it! Okay, well that was cool. No! Oh! <laughs> I thought I released the A button in time. I didn't. That was really cool, though. Oh yeah, we are definitely not finishing Crazy Kremlin in this stream. <laughs> Maybe we'll have time for the Lost World level, though. Maybe. Yoink. No! Diddy! Why is that chest so close to the edge? I'm trying to roll off it, not pick it up. This level is deceptively difficult. <laughs> I also like how Dixie's ponytail is what gets caught in the hook. I love the sound that the cats make when you kill them. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody take that out of context. These fiends are the weirdest fiends ever. They're like peacocks with cat faces that make cat noises. It's so bizarre. Oh boy. No, 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 no! <laughs> that, that, the crockhead was coming back up. 
That doesn't count, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I couldn't see for the tears. <laughs> I'm really falling apart here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, you did not do that to me. I did it to myself. <laughs> I'm just... It's the same problem I have anytime I fail a level a whole bunch of times. I try... When I fail it a whole bunch, I take it too fast. And then I make really simple, stupid mistakes. Oh, come on! It's a dragonfly! They don't have teeth! They're, they're not a bullet. Why do they hurt? I didn't touch him! I... I really need to just... Put put on the brake a bit and slow down. I know... I literally made it to the end of the level. I know I can do it. Those Nekis have surprisingly big hitboxes around their feet, though. Boing. Also, we have a pretty good crowd of people here tonight, so we're, we're probably going to raid somebody, if there's somebody streaming! <laughs> Alright. No. Oh my gosh. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> I don't like this part. It can look so cool if you do it right, but... WHAT A CRUD BUTT! <laughs> that was the worst thing that could have happened. <laughs> oh no. Jeez, Louise. I re why do I have such a hard time with this vault? Oh, that's why, because the... Alright, let's... How many times have we died on this level? I've lost track. How do we still have that many lives? Oh, we did just clear bonus bonanza, that's probably why. Their talon, those little birds' talons, are so freaking big, apparently. Extend very far downwards. Ouch. I stubbed my toe. Oh, Diddy, I really hope you can get that hero coin at the end. I don't have much faith in your abilities, but... You're my only hope, much like Obi-Wan. Okay, no, I'm not falling for that again. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Oh wait, that's not how that goes. What, what, what? That's bogus, though. I jumped on the barrel, not on the stupid target. The barrel was higher up in the air than the target. What the... This is never gonna end. I, I deserve that hero coin. I'm a hero. I'm like Hercules, except I don't have to clean up poopy stables. Oh, what? I thought I would get the get the jump off of him. I couldn't. Yeah, we are 100% not <laughs> finishing the world tonight. 
<laughs> as soon as I get that Dane hero coin, <laughs> we're gonna find somebody to raid. <laughs> That's how it's gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Every time I play this game, this level gives me so much trouble, and I don't know why. Like, objectively speaking, this is not that difficult of a level. But every time I play it, I die like 30 plus times on it. No! I f- <laughs> you know, the sad thing is I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm actually really trying to beat the level. And I'm just really bad. Probably because I keep messing up in stupid parts and then memorizing that and just doing the same thing over and over again because it's in my muscle memory. Okay. We definitely grab the invincibility barrel here. It's a good move. Oh my gosh, I hate that level. <laughs> Good bye, Mudhole Marsh. Oh my goodness, that level took way longer than it should have. Oh my goodness. It, yeah, it is lucky. It, in my experience, if you wait for him to blast it and then jump on it and go over to the exit, it always lines up for the hero coin. But, yeah, it is very fortunate that that happens. All right, we're saving the game before something stupid happens. All right. <laughs> now, who is anybody alive that I know? Let's find out right now, and we can find a raid target. Actually, Shaggy might be streaming now. Is he? Oh, no. Darn it. Nobody who I know is streaming right now, so I can't raid anybody. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I'll just end the stream there. Thank you all for tuning in. That was a ton of fun. And hey, we got to laugh at my expense. That's always that's always a fun time. So, yeah. Um, I will be streaming Sunday. Not Saturday, Sunday. More Sonic Adventure 2. I will also be streaming this again on Monday. Next week, I don't think I'll be streaming on Wednesday. Actually, no, I definitely will not be streaming on Wednesday ne of next week. But... I'll be streaming this weekend, so hope you guys can make it for that. It will be a tons of fun. In the meantime, I'm going to sign off there. Thank you all for joining in. Super fun having you all guys all here. And hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening, and God bless.